Uh, Nigel, talk us through today's game. Oh, what a big disappointment. I thought we started ever so well, 25 minutes, best team, played some really good football. Obviously, we know the threats that they had. Uh, we set ourselves up with a shape with a one holder and two. We were very assertive, we were on the front foot, we were interception. Goal we scored, great goal. Interception, that's what we worked on. Uh, Marcus Henriksen getting the ball, getting the ball wide, good cross from Camille, great header from Fraser Campbell in the promo. And then we're up, and then for whatever reason we drop back a little bit. We knew the threat of their number tens, the two number tens that they go and play. We back off, we get them to get the ball, and the goals change the complexion a little bit. You know, one of our players is, is the midfield players left his play, who's going and scores the first goal. It's so frustrating, so frustrating. And then obviously we go in at half time, um, three down. We start the second half really well, you know, really well. A couple of great chances of Andro just off to the off uh, over the bar, Jared getting slipped through, keeper makes a save, but then they go down the other end and score again. <laughs> Poor defending to close plays down and allow them the opportunity to score. And obviously then it makes it very difficult for the final 20 minutes of the game. We lose um, Marshy at half time with an injury where the players got booked for. Um, we've lost Jackson Evan with injury and we've lost Fraser Campbell with injury. So you look into ad adapt things during the course of the game where they've come off injured and uh, it's it's very frustrating afternoon because, as I said, for me, we've started the first half so well, so well, scored a great goal for 25 minutes, really doing well. But we've come away from uh, home, we're on the end of a real poor scoreline and the last half hour of the game was uh, was very disappointing to say the least. Yeah, I mean, Grzycki down at this end of the pitch had the opportunity to square it could maybe have had a shot himself if it goes in for 3-2 it's a whole different ball game exactly I mean we said to the players half time well just to adapt the formation again the next goal is going to be so important uh, and we started so well and we put ourselves in a position again it, you, you want to take the chances give them credit they're excellent finishers from their players but we've allowed them to get in them positions which for the first 25 minutes of the game we didn't allow them to go and do because we were really good so it's, it's very frustrating from my point of view. Yeah, because they did play some really nice football, didn't they? The way the intricate passing on the edge of the area. Yeah, I and mean, again, we, for the first 25, we stopped them doing that because we, were, we knew we had to go and engage. And you know, we, we wanted to be bold in what we want, we've gone and done. And we've done that for the first 25 minutes of the game. But then, obviously, they've, they've, um, they've created opportunities. And uh, very frustrating from my point of view because there's things that we talked about and things we worked on. And uh, it's the application then. Yeah. Does that mean then there's quite a few things to put right going forward for the next game, or is it um, one? As I said, sorry, it's a total different game going into uh, Tuesday now. Um, obviously, Millwall a total different uh, type of style of play to uh, to Brentford, uh, so it's going to be a total different game. Um, and again, I said I'm going to utilise the squad, and you know we've lost, we've had players unavailable today through injury. Will they be available for the next game? But it's a, it's a squad that we need to utilise. And as I said, we've just lost three players. They've got to be doubted as very, very doubtful for Tuesday night now. Marcus, talk us through that one because at 25 minutes, 1 0 up, I wasn't expecting that scoreline. No, neither were I. Uh, extremely disappointed, uh, especially how we yeah, we just give away goals. And um, that's not good enough at this level. I think, as you said, we started very well the first 20 25 minutes. Suddenly it's 3 1, uh, and in the second half, we don't compete at all. Uh, I think the first 10 minutes is okay, but after that, we. We we'll let Brentford do whatever they want. Uh, they look like Barcelona out there, and we are just running after after every ball. Uh, it could it could have been more, to be fair. Uh, but I think George did well when he came in. Uh, but yeah, I'm extremely disappointed today. Was the fourth goal in the second half the catalyst to the way the second half panned out? Yeah, when you're in a half time, uh, the first goal in that second half is extremely important. Uh, and unfortunately, Brentford got it. And after that, it's difficult on 4-1. Uh, you can see all of us is losing ahead a little bit. Um, and, and the shape is, is going up everywhere. It's holes everywhere. Um, and Brentford is, is one of the best teams in possession. So they played us out way, way too easy. Um, but yeah, 5-1. It's not good. Yeah, it's so strange, isn't it? Because when we played them at our place, 2-0 victory seemed to play them off the park. The roles have been reversed today, in a sense. Yeah, the last couple of games has been too many too much up and down I think some 20 minutes here we are very good but then suddenly we can see the goal and then we we suddenly lose it and this is not good enough at this level and that's also why we we haven't been on that run that we were uh, a couple of games ago uh, so it's important to get the confidence back otherwise this can be very very tough it's it's 13 games left and we need to keep the spirit and the momentum going but all of us know that this is not even near good enough